Hi everyone. Today we will look at Affinity Publisher V2 frames. There are two main objects in an Affinity Publisher document or book. They are images and text. And both of them have their own frames. You need frames to insert text and images. Here is a clean document that I created for you. And here is the frame text tool. You just click this tool, then you create any size of text frame you like. This, this is a text frame with only one column. If you want to increase the number of columns, it's very easy. You just click and you get any number of columns you like. I will leave this at one. Now, as to, as to graphic uh, frames, there are two kinds. One is rectangular, it's called picture frame, rectangle, and picture frame ellipse tool. I select the, uh, let's select the ellipse one, round one. And here I go. I'm drawing an elliptic uh, frame for an image. And to insert an image, it's very easy. You either go to File, Place, or click Ctrl-Shift-M. And here are my sample photos. And let me insert, let's say, this by double clicking. Now, look at the flexibility Affinity offers us. You can increase or decrease the size of the image. You can hold onto the central tool and move it around in any way you like in, inside the frame. And you can just rotate it, okay? And you can also zoom in and out. Isn't that wonderful? I like that very much. Now, to insert text, you double click inside the text frame. And you have a couple different ways to insert text. One is, of course, this is sample text, you can just type it in, right? But this is the longer way. Presumably, you would have your text ready, already written somewhere else, right? So uh, here is one way we go to uh, Affinity Folder. And I have this text called Introduction to Global Warming. You can just drag and drop the file, and boom, here you, you will see your text inserted automatically. Or you can do the same by opening the file and copying it, Control A, copying and then pasting it into your uh, publisher uh, frame. That's also a possible. I here click Control Z to undo what I have done, but I have to select this uh, Move tool first. And if you click enough, Control z so you will go back to where you started from. Or, as I said, you can also use File Place. You can browse, go to your text file, and then open it uh, inside the frame. OK. Now, here we have another page and other text frames already inserted. Now, Publisher has a wonderful text frame linking functionality. And let me show you how it goes. When I drag and drop my text, here this is the text link button. It's red which shows that not all the text is inserted into this frame. There is more to it. And if you click this eye icon, 
you can see that you know the rest of the text uh, going down just the indication that there's still more uh, to insert into your document now I can click this link and then go ahead and click another frame and as you can see now this frame is linked to this one and the text automatically flows from one text frame to another but what if uh, I don't like to link to this frame but to another frame you know that you have tremendous flexibility when you are using affinity publisher I just click on this red arrow and when I move it right as you can see the link has a red cross mark red X between its two loops which means if I click on this frame the link is deleted so I can go back again click this and go to another text frame and now the text frame on page one is linked to page three skipping page two altogether this way you can configure your own unique custom made text flow and you don't need to go from page one to page two to page three etc you can jump around any way you like in a affinity publisher uh, document and from here you see we still have uh, some extra text because this is red I click this and then go to here right so what if I want to include a new uh, text frame I can click and just out of the blue create a new text frame I can still go and here at the bottom I click this uh, text flow button and then click on this new one not the existing pre-existing text frame but the new one I created and so forth and so on let's click this and flow it in into this box where the text ends because why the uh, text flow triangle here button is now clear it's blue now there are a few things we can do uh, with images imagine I want to insert and across two pages like spread image it's very easy I can drag and create the text image then control shift M and let's select this image now I can just move it around the way I like it right and if it is what if it overlaps the text the image now uh, there is a text wrap uh, option so if I select this text frame and I go to text and text wrap and show text wrap settings here are the settings now if I select jump but I have to uh, select the image of course first let me select the image and jump as you can see the the image pushed the text down so the text wraps around it in a you know in a proper manner and here let's say let me create another image frame and I if what if I want to insert an image in the middle of a text block so control shift M okay let me select the image and so I go to the wrap style jump this way text jumps from top of the image to the bottom and properly pushes 
all the rest of the text to all the available space in other frames so that on the last page now we still have a text overflow just a little bit of it right so i click the i again to close the text overflow but this is not the only uh i again select the move tool here this is not the only uh text wrapping option i can select square so there will be less text pushed to the bottom. So now we can see the whole conclusion. And you can arrange the margin between the text and the image by, let's say, let's decrease the text uh, space here at the top of this image. I can go to top and click and decrease. See? How, how the text is now much closer to the top of the image, or I can increase it back. So you have all these fantastic controls all over the place. Left, right, bottom, and top. Now, I want to show you something. If you push, press the space bar, see the cursor turns into a hand, which means, let me close this. You can move around the pages uh, any, any way you like. But this is not the only way to do this. There is also, remember, our navigator, uh, the navigator uh, tab here. Now, in the navigator, again, if you select this, okay, in the navigator, by moving this rectangle around, you can visit any part, any corner of the page you like. So this adds another very flexible uh, navigation, navigational aid tool at your disposal. And some of the uh, useful here, some of the useful power keys that I would like to show you, you can, after pushing the control, you can zoom in and out by turning the wheel of your mouse. And if you don't have that, you can use control and equal sign for the same purpose or control and minus sign to zoom out. You can zoom in, zoom out any way you like. Now, if you like to see the whole uh, document, okay, Control, Alt, Shift, Zero, shows you the whole document, okay? Complete with its links. So at just one look, you can see which frame is linked to what other frame. I think this, is a, this gives a wonderful versatility and control uh, to writers and document creators. Uh, if you click Control one it'll be uh, at 100%, which is same as Control 8 I don't know what the difference is. They created different ways of looking at a document at 100%. And there is this uh, zoom tool on the toolbar. If you double-click this, uh, again, you will see your document at 100%. Uh, zoom level. So control zero will fit it into your uh, screen. And alt shift, alt shift zero will fit it uh, width wise. Its, its width will fit your screen. So uh, you can try either uh, control zero to fit or uh, control control nine but this gives you a pixel view control one it gives you 100 percent or as i said control shift alt zero will give you the chance to look at the whole of your document if it's like 50 pages of course you can go up and down 
or press the space bar and then uh, look around any way uh, you see fit. So uh, we have covered, I hope, the basics of text frames and image frames and how they can be edited and moved around, how you can wrap text around these frames. And so I hope this has been a good introduction to uh, Affinity Publisher Frames. So I see you around in the next video. Take good care.